Okay, this is an example of the Burthen collapsible boat, probably built in the 1890s, recovered from a hotel roof in Norway, where it had been since the 1890s, used for fishing on board a lake, which actually folds into two different seas, the North Sea and the Baltic Sea, which is unusual. It was designed by the Reverend Burthen, and as we can see, it's in its open state. It's literally, they, these pins just need to be pulled out, there we go, there's one, take the pins out, lift the seats, the boards, there you go, they can then close outside. These are the struts and they just need to be slowly pulled out. As you can see the shape there, that's for the bulwark to sit on and it carefully fits in underneath the gunnel and the flooring. If we lift that up, the boat gently closes onto itself, except it hasn't been done for a while. And there we are, with hinges hidden under the canvas here. The canvas being flax mixed with turpentine, soap and linseed oil. Um, and you can see the ribs fold into place. They're not the same ribs that you see on the interior here as the exterior. They're offset with each other. So the interior rib holds the interior canvas and the exterior rib holds the exterior canvas, both of which have got a one laminate on the outside or the inside to hold it in place. These laminates probably were um, not um, glued at the time because I don't think there was a glue that was good enough for it, but it's the, one of the first laminates around. And these hinges here are actually not hinges but straps. If you look up really closely you can see there's a strap that goes through an eye in order to be able to allow it to work. Um, it's like a chain link. Um, that one there's lost it. No, that one doesn't have one either. Good bit of saving. Don't put some in where you don't need it. Um, otherwise that's the boat and then you'll see we'll put it back together again. We'll need to give it a good hoover shortly. Okay, flatten that down. And just as before. If you, if you get under there and then. That's a short one. Yeah, these are different lengths. So you can see that the one for the center is going to be higher up and they've got a, a, um, a hole in them and the, one of the original ones there has still got the original rope tied into it. So that one won't fit here, it comes up to above the gunnel, but it will fit in here. When we did it for the television, we did it far quicker. <laughs> You can see the channel at the bottom there that you're putting the groove into. So rather cleverly, they're designed so that they're very different shapes, so that there is a certain way around that fits. 